welcome to my channel. This video will be about flower yearbook and I hope that flip through of my finished works will push me to finish this book. This book is closest in my collection to be finished. I think that I have probably five or six pictures to do, so I already did a lot of work here, but somehow I stopped coloring in it. Probably I was a little bit tired of the same colors, the same color combos which I have used, but I think that our time apart was quite long already and now it's time to return and probably it's time to finish it and to have at least one finished book in my collection. So let's start. If you love to color realistic plants, realistic flowers, this book is, and all books by Leila Dooley, is totally must have. Unfortunately, now, as far as I know, Leila Dooley is more invested in creating PDF pictures which are available from her Etsy store, but at least she continues to do pictures, so when I finish this book and uh, when I finish my Floribunta, which I also have in my collection, probably I will purchase new designs by Leila Dooley and I will be able to print them on a watercolor paper and I will try to improve my watercolor skills. But I have promised myself that I won't be starting any other Leila Dooley books until I will finish this one. So I definitely have a lot of reasons to finally finish the small amount of pictures which I still have here. In the beginning, when I just purchased this book, I started to do these title pages of months and I maintained a quite nice uh, speed, so I did each month accordingly, accordingly to calendar, so it was a very nice experience and I still think that these designs are the most interesting, interesting in the book. Gradually I started to experiment with various mediums. This spread is made with ink tense pencils. I can say that I am totally happy, especially with this of violet flowers, but everything else isn't so bad. At least it was interesting to invent all these green combos from ink tense pencils. In this book there is a huge range of my earliest pictures and um, latest pictures, so it's nice to see the difference in the way of my coloring, but even my uh, first works I still love them. I haven't decided yet if I need to add some kind of background, maybe with soft pastels around this kind of individual flowers, or maybe I just will leave it as it is and the whole book will look like a Gerbarium book or something like this. This one is quite colorful and obviously made with Prisma colors, all their purple dark purple, magenta, process red. I started from smaller designs and gradually I started to move to big pages to two pages spread, so it was interesting. Here I was quite tired of coloring leaves. I just have to remember which color combo I used here and I need to finish this page. Of course, if you don't love to color leaves, you won't be a huge fan of this book. But I would say that Leila Dooley is the best creator of realistic botanical drawings. pictures I would definitely like to color in different way now. I can't say that I love this one, not enough of contrast, but as I said, I continue to tell myself that it's like 
stages of my learning process that it's nice to look back at my growth as colorist. So I'm not disappointed that there are so different works in this book. I think that this one was page where I started carefully experiment with using of watercolors in this book and this paper takes water surprisingly well and ink tense pencils also so don't be afraid to experiment with various mediums. I also saw a lot of very nice works which by other colorists which were um, which colored this book in more fantasy way not keeping the original colors of the flowers or doing fantasy backgrounds. If I would have the second copy of this book, probably I would also try to do similar thing. But from the beginning I decided that I will look at reference pictures and I will try to color as close to the originals as possible. For me it more like uh, botanical books from Victorian times, which where designs have a lot of details, and I tried to color this book in this way. This spread is probably one of my favorites. I love all flowers here, and I love that I did nice contrasts on green elements, because to color leaves it's always for me a huge problem which colors to use, which colors to use for shading, so it's not very easy, especially when I didn't have polychromoses with their more natural looking green colors. It was a struggle to do green, all these various leaves using only polychroma, uh, using only prisma colors, especially when dark green prisma color isn't very helpful beautiful spread. I don't know why I hadn't colored it during the summer. Very nice. And probably this was project when I uh, uh, had a stop to my coloring process. I did this background, I did these leaves and I realized that I am tired of all these leaves that I am not sure how to proceed. You can see that here I started to add some bright backgrounds, unlike all the previous pages, but I was thinking about doing a white pen daisy flowers here, so I thought that with white petals they will look nice on this background, and I wasn't sure that it was the right decision, and probably that's why I have stopped to color it and put this book away for almost the whole year. I don't think that I have touched it. Maybe just for a couple of small projects like this one. But I definitely hadn't colored any huge spreads here until the recent time. This one colored with polychromoses. When I got polychromoses it was uh, much easier to color in this book. This one I tried to transform into a page of the botanical atlas, so I added this vintage slightly yellowish look to the page and I draw these botanical elements for each of the flowers. Now I just have to erase this pigment from Prisma colors. Sometimes I forget to protect pages, but it's nice that I can easily tell it pigment. Here I believe I started to use watercolors and I was so pleasantly surprised how they behave, how paper looks with watercolors, how it was possible to layer, to leave to take pigment away from paper, to mix colors on the paper without having stains. So I definitely recommend to use this paper, to use this book not only with pencils, but also with intense and watercolors or water soluble pencils if you have them.
Here I have another page with quite dark background and I did it again because I wanted uh, these pastel flowers to be more visible, to pop up better on the dark background and I also thought the dark background will suit this yellow flowers so even if this spread probably doesn't match the style of the rest of the book i still love that i have a couple of such different designs here i need to color this poppy somehow and probably i will be using watercolors i'm not good at coloring poppies at all my previous attempt in Botanicum wasn't so bad, but now I think that it will be nice to use either ink tents or watercolors, at least for the petals of the flowers. September probably is my favorite finished month page. I do love these berries and here I definitely like the way how I did all the leaves, flowers, so yes, it's definitely my favorite. I love this fuchsia flowers, but I don't know how correctly to pronounce its name because in my language we call it fuchsia, but in English I believe that it's more fuchsia, something like this, but at least I love these flowers and I even love leaves here. For me to do realistic leaves it's a very difficult thing. And here I have the only one remaining month picture. All everything else I have finished. This spread I have finished recently, so if you're interested, I think that I will publish speed coloring video. I had a lot of problems here. I am totally unhappy with my green leaves, but even when I'm, I'm unhappy with the result, I still try to find something positive in the process, some experience which I gain. So it's not bad and at least it's plus one finished spread. I do love all the uh, fall months in this book, very beautiful uh, pictures with various leaves and it's something different from all those flowers which we have in the beginning of the book. I still love these oaks and acorns. On this page I used ink tents. It was my first attempt and again it was so different from using ink tents in my Lizzie Mary Cullen book. Definitely they look here much closer to real watercolors and probably from this page I started to realize how beautiful this medium is and how, how huge potential it has. So I definitely uh, had to use it not only in Lizzie Mary Cullen's book. So it was a very interesting, very nice experience and I am still pleased with the result which I got. November is also not so bad, very colorful. I enjoy coloring berries in all pictures where I can find them and I still like it. So. I believe that this was made also with ink tens and maybe some details with regular pencils, but the most part definitely with ink tens. This one I made with uh, polychromosis and I tried somehow to fill in the left side of the background so that's why I added this name of the month, these strange letters, but at least it balanced the right, very busy right side of the spread. On this page I tested my Derwent graffiti and pencils after I have purchased them, so all these sizzles and other flowers, those spiky flowers I did using Derwent Graffitins. They are very interesting pencils and very versatile. You can get 
a lot of colors by using them in dry way or taking pigment directly from pencil core. So it was very helpful to do this spread and to learn them better. This one still one of my favorites, even if I have finished it probably three years ago. I still like it. I like style of all the birds, which we have in this book. They are very realistic, so very easy to color. And I was very happy when I did this book, when I did this page. <laughs> These winter months I have completed almost all the designs apart from such a small ones. So you can see that my book is almost completed. Probably I have five or six designs. I hope that I will find enough courage, enough strength to color this book. Even if ahead of me I have winter time, so probably not the best time for coloring flowers, but maybe I still will find some time and some inspiration. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope that you liked all my finished works.